So you may have just updated to iOS 14 and you may be running into this random issue where your activation for iMessage or FaceTime may not be working properly. Now there's some really easy ways to go about fixing this and I think the most common way that I've seen and that I've actually encountered is making sure I'm connected to a reliable internet connection. So that means either Wi-Fi or data. In order to do this, what you want to do is you want to go into your Wi-Fi and you want to load up something. You want to load up a web page, you want to load up whatever, it doesn't matter. And the most important thing is you want to make sure that you're able to load other web pages and load other websites. And as you can see, it works. So I know my internet connection is working. And if you open up your Safari web browser, Chrome or whatever, and you see that for some reason your web pages are not opening or you're running into issues or it's saying not loading web pages, then that most probably means that there's an issue with that specific cell signal that you're using. And you should probably switch over to either Wi-Fi or data, whichever one you're connected, or connect to a better reliable network. If you're connected to a bad signal or something, you may not actually be able to go and connect and activate your iMessage or FaceTime. So that's the very first thing I would recommend doing. Now, if that doesn't work and you tried it, another thing you can do is actually another really easy thing. You wanna make your way over to settings and pretty much you want to make sure that your time zones match the specific time zone that you're in currently. So if you're in New York, if you're in Europe, if you're whatever, you want to make sure you're using the exact same time zone that you're currently in. So if you're traveling, this may be another thing. If you're traveling temporarily, you want to make sure that you're in the correct time zone. So in order to do this, what you want to do is you want to scroll down. You want to go into general. You want to scroll over to date and time, which is right here. So go and click here. And as you can see, I have mine set to set automatically. And that's probably what I would recommend you doing is turning on set automatically right here. Now, if you don't know or you do know where it's at and this isn't working, I'd recommend turning this off temporarily and then turning it back on. And then that should probably fix that specific issue that you're in for the time zone error. Now, as you can see, I don't have a SIM card in here or anything. But that's another way to go about fixing it. You know, turning off your set automatically, turning it back on or just setting your thing on to manual, your time zone onto manual, and then reconnecting, and that should probably fix it. Now, if that doesn't work, another thing you can do is go into your settings again. You wanna scroll down into messages, which is right here, and you just wanna to toggle iMessage on and off. So at the very top, there's a little notification, little bar right here. You wanna turn this on and turn it off, or turn it on. Now, in this phone, I keep it off, but you wanna go ahead and do it for your main device. You wanna go ahead and turn it on, and then toggle it off and then toggle it on again. And usually it'll reset something and go back into iMessage, try and fix it. Now again, you can go into FaceTime and do the exact same thing, toggle it off, then toggle it on. And most probably that specific issue that you have should be gone. Now, if this still doesn't work, you know, as you can see, iOS 14 has a lot of bugs and stuff. Who knows, maybe this is another issue that's within iOS 14. A factory reset should probably fix it. So I would recommend backing up all your data, backing up everything, doing a factory reset, and then and then even restoring that specific backup will probably end up fixing this issue. Again, it's not a guarantee, but it could probably happen. So those are just a couple ways to go about fixing it. If you guys have any other problems or any other questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. Twitter, my Instagram, my main channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.